Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator living in Pittsburgh with my fiance Skyler and our Labradoodle Indio. So today's video is actually going to be a try-on clothing haul of the clothing I picked up for myself on my last trip to the Goodwill bins. My previous two videos have also been hauls from that trip, so I will link those for you guys so you guys can watch them just in case you missed them. But I wanted to do a try-on for those of you who enjoy try-on hauls so that you guys can kind of see what some of the items look like on or maybe get some ideas on how to style similar pieces for yourself or even just to see the kind of things that you can find at the Goodwill bins or thrifting in general. So I found some seasonal clothing which I was hoping to find and then some winter fall stuff that I'll be storing for next season. Before we get into the haul, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your bell notifications so that you guys will be notified whenever I have a new video. I upload two vlogs weekly on Friday and Sunday. That is my new vlog schedule. Okay, so here's my little stack of clothing. There is definitely a mix of seasonal finds. I'm going to go ahead and start with the tops first and then try on the dresses at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the sweaters, which I'll just pull over the top that I'm wearing. Um, this one is from the Woolrich Woman. It's a 100% wool sweater in this really cute beigey cream color. My hair is gonna be crazy throughout this video, but that's okay. So here is what the sweater looks like on. So it looks super cute with my denim shorts. Yes, I am standing on my bed right now. Um, I love it with this pair of white denim shorts, actually. I just kind of rolled and tucked the sweater. It also looks really cute tucked into like some denim jeans or something. So very cute, amazing quality vintage find. It also kind of gives me like coastal grandma vibes, which I know are very in right now. Okay, so next up is this cropped American Eagle cardigan in this really pretty brown color. So I'm just gonna slip it over this top. I love cropped tops, especially because I have very short legs. So I usually like to wear high-waisted pants, high-waisted shorts, and a cropped top always just looks good and hits exactly right for me. It's kind of frumping a little bit in the front with like my top underneath it, but it looks really cute with these denim shorts actually. I love the rich brown color and the kind of like cable knit classic like fall winter sweater. I also picked up this Lulu's sweater here that I thought would be the perfect holiday sweater. Um, it's just like this really rich earthy red color and it's made of a mix of materials um, viscose polyester and nylon it's actually very stretchy and comfy um it's not like itchy or anything oh boy this was not the right top to wear underneath these you guys but um a really pretty like camisole or bralette something like that would look pretty underneath this sweater because it has like this deep plunging neckline here love it with these shorts but also would look really good with like some denim pants or something you could tuck it make it a little bit more cropped um so i'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this in this next fall winter season. It's also a really great find too because Lulu's clothing is very expensive and it's also on the nicer end so definitely a really great find. The sweater also looked like it was barely worn and of course it's Lulu's which is a more expensive clothing brand so it just goes to show that you can find some really amazing good quality name brands in the Goodwill bins. And then the last sweater I found is a St. John's Bay classic cable knit sweater. It is in this very pretty sage green color size medium so it is a little bit of more like casual slouchy fit on me. 
So let me just throw it on for you guys. I love this color. My ring is like snagging on the sweater. Okay, so like I said, it is a little bit slouchier because it's a size medium. So just slouchy like this, or I could possibly like tuck it in to my shorts, jeans for a little bit more of like a fitted look. So a couple different ways to style this. It's also another great color for a holiday sweater. Sadly, I'm going to be storing these away already, but at least I've got a couple of seasonal spring summer items to wear. So I will show you guys those next. Sorry, that is Indio barking. Okay, so first up is this hand-dyed tie-dye shirt that somebody made. It is just like a regular Gildan t-shirt, but I really liked the colors that they chose to use in the color scheme. Um, I really pretty like greens, browns, blues, and some like earthy reds and stuff. And it actually looks super cute in my vintage white denim shorts, just like tucked in to the shorts. Um, it would also look really cute with denim and I even have like these 70s style like retro wide leg pants in like green and brown that it would look cute with as well. So I have a few ideas on how to style it. Um, just like a very basic, cute little find. Okay, so next up is... <laughs> okay, so next up is this basic white Haynes t-shirt that I tied in the cute little knot here just to show you guys one of the ways I would style it. It's like extra slouchy and could definitely use an iron, but just to quickly show you guys how I would style it. It would also look really cute with some denim pants. And then one more kind of like basic t-shirt. This is a men's Russell large t-shirt that I believe somebody just cut to this like cropped slouchy look. Um, I love that it's a little bit more oversized and I think it looks really cute with these shorts. It would also look really cute with like some leggings or more of like an athleisure like loungy look. So several ways to style it. It would also look cute like dressed up with some denim pants and like ankle boots, something like that. So I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this this spring summer. I also found this little basic No Boundaries camisole tank top. I love the little ruching here in the front and I've tucked it into my little white denim shorts here and it actually looks super cute, kind of like a monochromatic look. Love the neutral tank top. Um, I could definitely style this underneath some other tops as well and like blouses and stuff. So. Um, or just even pair it with like some leggings to lounge around in. I wanted some tops like this because it gets so hot in our apartment. We are on the top floor and we only have ceiling fans. So I'll definitely be wearing this a ton this summer. Okay, so moving on to dresses, I have two dresses to show you guys and then that is it for this haul. They're both kind of like 90s style dresses. So I'll show them to you guys first and then I'll try them on. The first one is from St. John's Bay. It is a cotton dress, 100% cotton with some lace details here in the front and at the bottom. And it ties in the back. So it's a little bit more fitting once you have it on. And then I also picked up this 90s wrap dress from Lord's Rose, just like a cute little vintage dress with some like retro vibes to it. Love this floral pattern and like that rich brown color. I think it'll be really pretty. So I'll try these on now. Okay, so here is that first dress on, kind of like a wrap dress style there in the front with the lace detail and it hits just above the knee. So cute little summer dress. Could definitely use a little bit of an iron, but overall I think it's a very casual, cute little dress for summer, and I'm sure we'll get some use out of it this season. Okay, so here is the other dress. Definitely a very cute little 90s summer dress. Could use an iron, so don't mind that. And then it goes down to about my ankles, not quite. 
So here's what it looks like. Very cute, flowy little summer wrap dress. And I love the vintage retro vibes of it with this really cute little floral pattern. Here is Indio to say hi to you guys. Let's see if I can come closer. He is super overexcited right now because we are just about to go out and take a potty. Can you come up? Can you come up? There, there we can see you better now. He is about three years old now for any of you who may be wondering. He is a standard male labradoodle. It can be kind of hard to film with him because he gets very excited and barks, likes to bark at our neighbors and stuff or anything that he hears outside. So unfortunately, I don't have him in the room when I'm filming quite often, but he is very cute and very sweet as you guys can see okay guys so that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't subscribed already please be sure to subscribe and share this channel with a friend or a family member who you think would enjoy this channel as well and also be sure to check me out on all my other socials at the urban darling and my blog theurbandarling.com for more content i really appreciate your support thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one. Bye.